is Grace. Today, I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Chapter 8, Joseph Forgive His Brothers. Joseph's brothers were not good to him. They did, bang, <laughs> they did bad things to him. Because of them, Joseph had hard times in Egypt. But God was with Joseph. God helped him. God gave Joseph wisdom. God gave him rule over Egypt. Joseph forgave his brothers. <coughs> so Joseph one day so when it was hard time when there no food his brother came to Egypt to buy food because they didn't have any food in their home so he Joseph had bad hard times in Egypt because of uh, his brothers but he forgave them as Joseph said, they had seven good years with God's help. Joseph saved up crops. After that, seven bad years followed, but they had plenty of food in Egypt. So after seven good years, seven bad years came follow. So they didn't have any food. So they were going to Egypt to buy food. The brother met the governor in the palace. They didn't know that the Egyptian governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother wanted to buy some food. Joseph knew they were his brothers. Joseph said, you're the spies. You want to know how much food we have. The brother was shocked. They said in fear, No, we are here to buy food. So, they yeah, have came to buy, buy food. But Joseph wanted to test them if they are changed. So he, he said, you're the spies. So they were shocked. Joseph wanted to know if they still hate one another. Bring your youngest son, uh, bring your youngest brother next time and prove that you're not spies. Joseph saw that they cried for Benjamin. He saw them help one another to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask them about his father and Benjamin, but he decided not to ask. He gave them enough food. He let them go to their hometown. So, Joseph wanted to know that they still hate another. So he set them to bring Benjamin next time, but they were helping one not uh, one another to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph couldn't help crying when he saw his brothers again. Brothers, I am Joseph. The brothers were scared. They thought that they will be killed. But Joseph said, It's alright, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you. 
let's live in here in Egypt. Joseph forgave his brothers. They lived happily ever. Not ever. Happily together. <laughs> so, Joseph forgave the brothers. Even though Joseph's brother hated him and was going to kill. I don't know. <laughs> okay, in the next chapter. Chapter 9, Brave Miriam. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family lived in Egypt. The power of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The power ordered him, his man to kill all the Egyptian boy, baby boys. Miriam's mother had a lovely baby boy. She Hide, uh, hide the baby and raise them. As the baby grew, she couldn't hide him anymore. She laid her son in a basket and placed him in the river. I will be with the baby, said Marianne. Marianne was a brave girl. Marianne followed the basket secretly. So, in Egypt, so Egyptians was, Israelites was living in Egypt. And Paro was scared because they can be more strong. They are going they are becoming too strong. So Paro said to kill all the baby boys. The basket cried a basket carried the baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She saw a prince she was a princess of Egypt. Look at this basket. She was surprised to see the baby in the basket. I will raise this cute baby myself. The princess princess said, I will I will call his baby Moses. Because I took him out of the water. Moses means a child out of the water. I need the nurse where the princess Miriam was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, I know a woman, she can help you. My mother can take care of the baby, said Miriam. The princess said yes, and Miriam brought her mother and the princess asked her, I'll pay you for the nursing the baby. The mother was very happy to raise her own baby openly. Thank you. You're such a brave girl, Miriam, said the mother. Yes, today I read two chapters of the story. Mm -hmm. And next time I'll read another good story. Now, see you next time. Bye!